Uh, have you ever done, I know you've not done hypnosis before, have you ever done meditation or anything like that? Okay, you ever daydream? Yes. I've seen you do it, you do a lot. <laughs> okay, um, hypnosis feels kind of like that. Yeah. It's, in the movies it always looks like you're, you know, you're asleep and you have no brain or will of your own, but there's a technical term for those descriptions, bullshit. Mm -hmm. um, they're movies, and they're usually written by people who don't know anything about it. They see people hypnotized, and they look like they're asleep, so they assume they're asleep. And actually, in the study of hypnosis in the 19th century, there was a belief that only weak-willed people could be hypnotized, mm -hmm. and that it's basically my will is overpowering yours. <laughs> and. Uh, so the, the doctors who were studying it, they all assumed they couldn't be hypnotized. Mm -hmm. So they never tried it. And so there was no information about how it really felt. Because mm -hmm. they never asked the people they were hypnotizing. They were usually working with uh, lower class people or women. Mm -hmm. And low, you know, working class and women, nobody cares what they think anyway. They obviously don't have, the, they don't have the mind power to really understand. And so they ignored that. Yeah. It wasn't until the end of the 1800s that a doctor actually consented to go through the process, fully assuming that he wouldn't be able to be hypnotized. Yeah. And they said, wait a minute, I'm not asleep. And that's when we found out that it has nothing to do with weak will. It has to do with uh, strong will. You have to have an excellent concentration. You have to focus. I will ask you to imagine things, and when I do, you need to focus on that. And remember when you were a little girl. I assume you were a little girl, not a little boy. As a little girl, did you ever did you ever play games? Please God say yes. Okay, did you ever play games that were a lot of fun? That engaged your imagination? that you played the game so well that you didn't even notice time. I don't know. You don't know. The memories aren't so crisp. Okay. Probably. Uh, currently, um, as a little adult, um, as an adult, have you ever been involved in an activity that was enjoyable, that you were so focused on that you didn't notice time go by? I mean, like sometimes people read a book and they look at the clock and they, well, I didn't realize it was so late. Mm -hmm. All right. That's the kind of focused attention that you put on the directions that I give you. Basically, take that playful curiosity from when you were a little girl and you enjoyed something so much that it became your complete focus of attention and bring that into it. If I say, imagine, uh, for instance, uh, magnets holding your hands together, then imagine as if you can really feel it, okay? What you're doing is you're, you're getting past that part of you, that critical part that questions things, that's like, okay, this is bullshit. <laughs> and you're, you're putting that aside so that you can accept the suggestions and have fun with them. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes you do that. And sometimes you don't. But for this, you want to purposefully dampen that critical effect. All right. So let's play a game.